Baik, terus ke sukan. Kita mulakan dengan siri jelajah WWE oleh Astro ke seluruh Malaysia. Dan sehubungan itu, personaliti Gusti Profesional WWE iaitu Ricky Steamboat telah pun mengadakan lawatan ke Astro Bukit Jalil pada hari ini. Untuk mendapatkan perkembangan lanjut, kita terus bersama dengan rakan tugas Syafizan Johari AK Apa Cerita di Bukit Jalil. Ah, nampaknya hari ini Ricky Steamboat seorang uh, wrestler yang cukup terkenal uh, pada era 80-an hingga 90-an hadir di Malaysia dan kini berada di Astro Bukit Jalil dan beliau bersama saya ketika ini Ricky how are you man very good thank so, you so yeah uh, you are here as an ambassador you're not retired and but, but what, what what are you doing now uh, instead of uh, years ago, like used to get in the ring and do the uh, live performances, what I do now for the World Wrestling Entertainment Company is I go around the world. I'm like an ambassador, like a diplomat. We talk about the company. I do appearances for the company, autograph sessions and such as, uh, as I do with uh, around the United States. So basically, uh, earlier this morning, we had a lot of you know, uh, staff in Astro had an opportunity to... You know, take a photo with you and get your autograph. So do you do, you do, this, do, you, you do this oftenly around the world? I do this very much around the world. That is pretty much my role now, uh, right now, to speak, like I said, speak about the, con uh, the company and then take pictures, sign autographs, and uh, be a good Samaritan to all of our supporting uh, audience. Talking about supporters and talking about audience, uh, what do you think about Malaysian audience uh, now com as compared to maybe 20 years ago? I think the Malaysian audience now, obviously, are more educated mm -hmm. about the company. Mm -hmm. And that only came about probably because of the uh, coverage mm -hmm. that our company has now brought into mm -hmm. this country with the amount of uh, WWE wrestling that you can mm -hmm. see each week. Yeah. And of course, because of you, because you've been you know, telling a lot of, uh, conveying message about, about the company, about yeah. WWE throughout the world. And uh, how long will you be staying in Malaysia? I will be here until Friday, mm -hmm. this coming Friday. I arrived yesterday morning mm -hmm. and we'll be flying out Friday evening. And tomorrow there'll be a grand or huge uh, announcement, but that yet, to, but we have to keep it hush hush first. Uh, but what is your expectation? I mean, uh, are we Malaysians going to be happy with that announcement? I will be, I safely say that you guys will be completely ecstatic <laughs> with this huge announcement. All right, let's wait for an announcement tomorrow. Rick. Let's wait for tomorrow. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, thank, thank you, you very much. Uh, it's very, you know, uh, I'm very delighted to have you here. Thank you. Uh, in our show at uh, Bulletin Awani Jam 12. Uh, Hans. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Hans. Teruskan, teruskan, okay. Hans, midnight. Ricky Steamboat. Minat, uh, tapi... Hans ada apa-apa soalan nak tanya pada Ricky? Uh, ba ba bagaimana Ricky melihat... AK, AK tolong tanyakan pada Ricky. Bagaimana AK, uh, Ricky melihat uh, aha, aha. wrestling ketika zaman ini dengan zaman dulu? Cara mereka berentap macam mana, AK? Uh, ada perbezaan? Oh, there's one question from our uh, news anchor in the studio. He, he, he He's asking about the difference between wrestling now, the wrestlers, mm -hmm. in the wrestling industry, mm -hmm. as compared to now and 20 years ago. The difference between when I wrestled, let's say 20 years ago, and now is that today's wrestler has a much stronger character. Mm -hmm. And that's only because of the way this company has been able to get it out there and promote it. Mm -hmm. Um, of course, we all had characters before, you know, Randy Savage, Ric Flair, Ricky yeah. Steamboat the Dragon. Mm -hmm. But today's wrestler, the pro more profound way to success mm -hmm. is how you can get your character across to the people that are watching. All right. So, itu jawapan untuk Hans yang Hans tanyakan tadi. Um, apa -apa pun, thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. The Dragon and uh, kita akan adakan pengumuman khas esok. Apa isi kandungan pengumuman itu akan kami umumkan esok. Dan uh, sekian saja kita kembali ke Bila Berita bersama Hans. Okey, baik. Terima kasih.